Doc here. So water intoxication is one of the more common things that we see in the hospital and also in the intensive care unit. So it's important that you understand that water intoxication is essentially when someone is drinking way too much water way too quickly and it's causing significant changes in their electrolytes, specifically sodium. And it's important to understand how sodium affects your brain. And I'll explain why. So the way that's important to understand is that the kidney is an essential organ in being able to excrete water content because it helps regulate the amount of electrolytes that we have in our serum, which is the blood. If that doesn't happen, for example, if you're drinking way too much water because you're sick, you have a poor appetite, and all you really want to drink is water, and if you drink way too much water in a given time, that's going to cause significant changes in the plasma because now the plasma is becoming more dilute compared to the sodium that was there before. So you're going to drive the sodium down. The serum sodium is going to go down called hyponatremia. Also, in the situation when someone's an athlete and marathon runner and all they're doing is drinking water without really any electrolytes, that could also cause significant changes in the sodium content. And that's very important to understand because when you cause significant changes in sodium, for example, when someone has a low sodium content in their plasma, what that's going to do is going to drive water outside the cell into the cell. So what's going to happen is the cell, specifically neuron cells, are going to swell up called cerebral edema. And that is very harmful. That could cause someone to be very confused and have permanent damage. So in general, patients will experience lethargy, nausea, vomiting, fatigue. Um, and to some extent, if the sodium continues to drop to a very severe level, they could have confusion and even seizures as well as coma. So it's important that you understand if you're having any of these symptoms, if you're drinking water specifically, or you're having diarrhea, that poor PO intake, that concerning features of hyponatremia, if they're present, make sure you go to the emergency room right away to get evaluated. Typically, the treatment for someone with hyponatremia, if their volume down, is to give them back electrolytes in the form of normal saline. In a certain situation, when, when someone is altered, confused, having seizures, is going to be going to the intensive care unit so they could start something called 3% saline or hypertonic saline and we're watching their sodium go up slowly. The important thing is that we don't want the sodium to change drastically because any sudden changes in the sodium concentration of in the blood will also cause sudden changes in the brain that could be very deadly.